Alrighty. And we're back. I know, peace, Tony. I know. Uh, Torchlight. Frontiers. Perfect. All right, everybody, can you see me? We back? We good? Exclusive llama pet? You. Yeah. Oh. Wow, nice, Leon. Level 99 or finding missing items? What'll happen first? Oh, tough to say. Tough to say. This time there's... Um... Go to overgrown items. I would imagine items are first, but didn't they discontinue Torchlight? No, they're making Torchlight Frontiers now. Okay, so we can't go there yet. What quest are we on? Um, travel to Austin, Sepulcher. Okay. Is my next Schaefer interview? Hmm, I don't know. We should do another Schaefer interview, though. Soon. I mean, I imagine he's somewhat busy now, but... I should, uh... Should hit him up soon and see if he wants to join on and, and talk. Yeah, they put me in the game. Little Llama. Can't help but think it's being made to be a mobile port. Maybe. Will I POE tomorrow? Tomorrow is International Woman's Day, and so I have to spend time with Kylie or something like that. Uh, gob kill. Okay, we need to go this way. But... We will, uh... Wow, the lag is real today. Oh my god. Oh no. Map still takes 10 minutes to travel through. Well, it's not nearly as congested as yesterday. So. But yeah, I think on Saturday I might play. Uh-oh. I spoke too soon! Your pack is too heavy. Okay. Okay. Really good experience still, so. You can't carry any more. Yeah. About to level up. Oh yeah, give me that eleven. Give me that eleven. What happens when you die? It just respawns you at the like place you entered the map or whatever. Not 
enough mana. You are overloaded. You have swag. Get out of my face. Your inventory is full. Easy. All right, level eleven. Your nice. Back is too heavy. Can't wait for the new season of Stranger Things. Oh, is that July? Sick. I don't watch scary things. That's probably the scariest thing I've ever watched in my life. But it's so good, the story and characters. Oh, man. It's so good. That was a faster load time. That was nice. Giving them crafting supplies and the gold and that gold. It's not jump scares, right? Exactly, which is helpful. I mean, there's definitely still parts where I close my eyes, like whenever they go into the upside down. Nope, don't need to watch that. But. Other than that, though. Dinner time, have fun! You need more mana. Uh oh. No, Llama! Why do you flee on me? These elites are always so hard to kill, man. Bug down the stairs. Yeah, a little bit of movement. She's there. Also, these chests are really hard to kill. I guess I should get the crafting supplies as well. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Am I stupid or something? Oh, it's down there. Well, that seems unfortunate. It's like little clown cars. They all come out of a tent or something, you know. how we get him. It's kind of fun that they like spawn out of different areas in the map. Hey Rainbow, this is Torchlight Frontiers. Flameproof chest armor. It's pretty good. Better there. Wink. 
All right, time for some kills. Man, there are a lot of skellies in that little tent. We, we still need another DPS increase. Just like slightly. Like it feels like in this level 11 area, we're just... I mean, this might aura is really nice. Your pet has arrived. Hey, there he is. Welcome back, Llama. Good to have you back. This dang charged bolt skill, man. Ah, fresh meat. Yo! Sir, how do I get a key? What up? Uh, message the um, developers. If you go to the Torchlight, you need uh, like Facebook or Twitter, I just went to the Twitter. Um, they have an area for if you're a content creator, like to message them on a certain link. Go get a key. Mwah. Thank you, cute dog. How you doing, man? I need to come back up and see you. Also, you need to come down here and see me. How about that? A little bit of, a little bit of both. Is this game super fun? It's all right. I think it's got potential to be like a Gauntlet Legends. That's how I've been calling it. Um, it's gonna need some some stuff to get there. But I think that's the style that it's most similar to, in my opinion. So, insufficient mana. They just need more, a few more like bosses, you like uh, that one dude that we fought. You do that with a few more things, and I think you got yourself a stew. We're gonna try Warhammer Chaos Bane. What is Warhammer Chaos Bane? I, I have not heard of that. Yeah, this is in closed alpha right now. This is Torchlight Frontiers. Diablo 4. Something like that. How much gold is that? Five whole gold. Wow. Fuck. Your mana is low. So. Yeah, like I said, I think it has potential to play really well into its own style. I don't think it's going to be a Diablo game 100%. But I think it would play decently well into that uh, style of kind of fun, you know, fun, fun hack and slash. Less care about min-max and all of that stuff and more about the different zones you're in and the different bosses you're killing, things like that. I think that's where it has the most value. A PoE game? No, PoE is all about min-maxing. Did my llama leave again? Right, like there aren't even levels in this game. You just have like area levels, so. Insufficient mana. You know, I think that plays well with it though, honestly. Oh, this is a level 12 zone, okay. 
Pew, you're too addicted to stop. Sorry. I play Pee Wee next expansion. I think I'm gonna play on Saturday. Let's shoot this puppy. Nice. But you know, like, I don't know. It 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 doesn't feel like a min max game. I don't think it should be one. Tomorrow Pee Wee's gonna be crowded, yeah. Like I said, I think I'm gonna be on Saturday. Which it's still gonna be crowded. You're gonna have everybody finishing up their, you know, 36 hour streams and stuff, but. Whatever. We will play it and have fun. You are gravely wounded. Ow. Those dudes did some good damage, man. For like non elite, just chill guys. Yeah, there'll be a lot of people playing PoE tomorrow, that's for sure. You're gonna have everyone and their grandma, probably for the next like week. You're gonna have like Dan's Gaming playing it, and I mean, everybody's gonna be playing it. You definitely have to be careful. 6R with the gifted sub. I don't think the alert goes off on the first gifted sub. I think it's broken. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. You don't have enough mana. Have you made your paintings as of now for the game? Yeah, for the most part. Like I say, I think if they make it more, even more instances, and instance-based and bossy, it'll be really fun. Make me a new Gauntlet Legends and I will be the happiest Lama you've ever seen, sort of thing, you know? That's where I'm at with it. Yeah, the staying awake thing, there's definitely uh, to a degree with it, right? That's, you know. I believe they say around 36 hours is when it starts to really have like adverse effects. When it starts, to, your heartbeat starts to get like irregular and things like that. So. Your pet has arrived. No, you can die from not sleeping. Because it screws with all your body eventually. So, yeah. Like, I'm never about, like, 36-hour streams or anything like that. It has definitely happened. There was a StarCraft dude who died from... He did, like, a... 48 or 50 hour stream or something and died from not sleeping. They died from exhaustion, not sleep deprivation. The point is not sleeping is what caused the death. <laughs> like... You can get into all the semantics or whatever, but like, they didn't go to sleep, and thus, they died because they did not go to sleep. That sounds like not sleeping. Whatever, man.
Dun, 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 dun. Oops. I'm so used to that being my hotkey for skills. Let's get some gold. And nobody cares that much. The point is, when you don't sleep, <laughs> it puts you, <laughs> it creates these situations of exhaustion. You need mana. That's all we're getting at here, man. Right, the gun didn't kill the person, the person who pulled the trigger did, sort of thing. Like. Get him. Come on, llama. Fight him, llama. Anyways, beyond that. So, not healthy for. Wow, Evo. To do those long streams like that. See, like, that boss right there could be, like, a really cool boss. I think every single one of those bosses should be really cool bosses. That's what I think this game needs for its next step in improvement. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Just gotta get it in the right spot. Right? There we go. You think bosses are too boring? Yeah, right now they are. There's only been one boss that was like really unique in how it fought. And that was a cutscene boss and it was really fun. I think every single dungeon instance in this game should have a boss like that, and that would be, like, the fun thing of the game, right? Like, I, the, the game has, like, yeah, it's fun running around, killing things, things like that, but I think it needs that piece. You need to say, every instance I fight this really unique, cool boss, and that is, like, super fun and awesome. And that's why I am having a great time playing it, sort of thing, you know? So, I think that needs to, to be implemented personally. Otherwise, I think things get too... a little too monotonous. Who do I need to talk to here? We must focus on the mission. Tell Zaya, okay. Find any Ooh, a legendary! Alright, remind me I have that. Ooh, more DPS. Uh, those are nice, but none of that. Fifty DPS. It's not bad. All right, let's go pick those up. Hydret. What is this? Whoa, that's a shield for thirty four DPS. Holy cow. All right, that is sick. We can get rid of this shield. You're scared this game is going to be too casual, like the horizontal progression thing? Yeah, I think that's definitely um, 
a valid fear with it. Let's go ahead and use that. Ooh, wow. 53 DPS on that puppy. Your pet has returned. All right, with that combo right there, I think we're gonna be golden. Mm, investigate the deep hollows. Okay. So, yeah, like I say, I think the game is meant to be somewhat casual. I think it's, there's a fear of it being slightly too casual and potentially something along the lines of that not enough, you know, still back to that same point of it needs to have uh, the different things, right? The Gauntlet Legends... Each instance is this cool, fun zone. One of them, you're on a blimp. One of them, you, you know, like, like think of like that, right? You're fighting on an airship and you're running around on that. And then in another one, you're in the jungles, right? You're in all these different areas. And then you have cool boss at the end of the area. Um, I think that's that's this game. But we're missing the the cool bosses right now. Does it have hardcore? I don't know. I don't think it does right now. It has hardcore items, where if you're wearing an item that's a hardcore item and you die, then that item um, disappears, which I think is a cool twist on hardcore. You get to keep your character, but you lose any of the GG hardcore items. It's kind of interesting. Could be a nice party game for sure. I think it's meant to be a good party game as well. I need to level up to 12, man. I need to level up to 12. Maybe I should go back to that other area, honestly. This is the closed alpha of the new one. Oh god, they're on fire! Oh boy. Oh god, there's no way I'm ever killing these things. I'm so screwed, aren't I? Your pet has run away. Oh dear, I'm so screwed. I do not have the damage for this at all. Your health is low. Yeah, all right. Let's go back to a 12. <laughs> Let's go back to, to the 12 area. Seems like that magic missile is the only spell you've ever seen. So there's... I use one spell here, Holy Bolt. The second spell is... This, it's a little AoE spikes. The third one is pew. The fourth one sets a little zone around to deal more damage. Then I have that one as well. So those are the five skills that I'm using. Just do it. Yeah, we're gonna just just do it and just go back to this area. Actually, <clears throat> just go back over here. Do a little uh. Killing.
in a nice level. Oh, this is a level 10 area. Hmm. I guess I need to go to one of the dungeons, probably. Yeah, honestly. Probably enough experience to be gained from all this stuff still. The density is just so good out here. This is definitely the place to farm right now. What, Naroku? Come on, that's not fair. A man needs his Chipotle. Fair punishment? No. Not fair at all. Maybe I should go down in that dungeon. I'm so lovely, level ready for that level up. Think about all the money saved in toilet paper. <laughs> Gross. But it would help. Ooh, we gotta do our podcast tonight. That's right. <sighs> Exclamation mark podcast. Thank you, Silenus, for the Twitch Prime subscription. How are you doing today? What are you up to? Hey, Max. How's it going? Mm -mm -mm. Mana. Frantic? Sounds about right. We should have a... When you're not busy. I know you got a lot. We should do another chat. Mama! Insufficient mark. Let's go, buddy. This is Torchlight Frontiers. How many skills can the class choose from? Um, we're 48 hours in here, still running around with Terran Fire. Yeah, like I said, I figure right now would be a horrible time for any of that. You guys work on that. Just hit me up on my Discord or Facebook or whatever when you when you put some fires out and, and have time. <laughs> this is the closed alpha of their new Torchlight game. Ow! Thank fire. Dang, fire. Hundred years after Torchlight 2. There you go. If you have any questions about this game, uh, Max Schaefer is one of the developers right there. He can answer it. Well, maybe. He's probably busy working, but quick questions, he might be able to answer some. What are you doing in my swamp? I'm doing Pee-wee, I think, Saturday. Nice. I never did any Torchlight 1. I just played some of 2. And it was fun. I had a good time with 2. Sponsored stream? Nope. He's just here hanging out. Is there a path of llama? There should be. Mm -mm -mm. This 
wanted to give it a try for a few days. Are there any Diablo Easter eggs? That's a good question. You just noticed the llama pet? I like to pretend that that is first dungeons the den of upheaval. Oh, there you go. I like to pretend like they put the llama in for me. I know they didn't, but it makes me feel better, so. <laughs> the health and mana globes. <laughs> Oh boy. When is this coming out? Sometime in 2019, I believe is what they said. It's really an alpaca? Shh, it's a llama. His name is even Mr. Llama SC. I don't think it can get any clearer than that. It's a llama, there we go. Official dev confirmed. Right there. Mods, make sure that that is clipped. Oh, Max, are there plans for soft, for hardcore characters in this game? Or is it just going to be the hardcore items like you had, uh, or like I read somewhere? I think I read it in the help bar. It is just in closed alpha right now. That is the question I have. Can't find it on Steam? It's it's closed alpha, so it is not there yet. We're gonna play around with hardcore. I'd say yes, chances are pretty darn good love hardcore. Perfect. There you go. There you go, chat. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, what's the late game? I'd be curious to hear more about late game, honestly. Careful, llama. How many classes? Right now, there's just two classes. I don't know how many they're planning on. Good questions there. So much more that's gonna go in. Not gonna spill the beans here right now. Think, of, think a lot about late game. Your pack is full. Makes sense. Oh, that was cool. What's that? You Unreal Engine. Right there. Good question, Talon. I, I would definitely be curious to hear more about the desired grindiness leveling piece of it. I mean, because when I think back to the other torchlights, they were a little bit like that as well. Like, whenever you went and fought a monster that was, like, even a couple levels higher than you, it was like, don't even bother. <laughs> yeah, it is on face. Closed alpha. Your 
running away. No, llama. He always runs away. What a jerk. Play for a long time so you can't turn through stuff too quickly. Also, we want you to have several characters per account. Things you do in the effect in the fort will affect your whole account. Oh yeah, that's right. You were talking about that. What up, BT? You want me to compare it to Path of Exile for you? Is that what you're hoping for? <laughs> You can't announce those things, Streamo. Well, we are in closed alpha, so there's a lot of content that is not in the game at the moment. Um, like I say, I think this game is more casual than Path of Exile. I think every ARPG is more casual than Path of Exile. Um, <laughs> so from that perspective, I think that's there. I think it plays better in that style though, right? Um, I think the game is is built more towards the party up, have fun, go out, kill some stuff, go to different zones, hopefully more bosses. That's my biggest hope right now. Hopefully there's a lot more cutscene bosses and stuff throughout the game. Um, Yeah, it's definitely got the torchlight feel to it, though, you know? If you played torchlight games before, you feel like you're playing torchlight now. Dude, that is a lot of stuff on fire right there. That's right. I'll laminate you in PvP. Right, I've only seen the, the first 1% of it, so obviously this is the base. How do I know it's more casual? Because have you seen the Path of Exile skill tree? <laughs> That's how you know. My magic damage is scaling off my weapon damage, which is why I'm super excited uh, to get level 12 here, because I have I have a big DPS jump coming at 12. Does it feel like a new expansion or a new game? Oh, it definitely feels like a new game. The big thing is levels are very different now. I'd say that's one of the biggest change Feels. You don't have enough mana. Yes, it's closed alpha. The levels are uh, area based, so this is goblin forest world area whatever this is the infest infested forest world area, whatever it's called um i have a different level i'm level 11 here almost 12 and i'm level 8 over here so in each frontier not sure the exact name. Does gear change by area as well? Yeah, and the type, like what the damage is in each area also changes. Like this is a fire area. So you take a lot of fire damage in here. In the other area, it's poison damage. So you want to have like poison resist and things like that. I still don't know a lot about what I should have in terms of like my damage types for those areas. Like should I deal poison damage to poison monsters or 
Probably not, I would guess. Do I need to deal fire damage to those guys? Are there skill trees? There's passive and active skills and you kind of unlock and decide how you want to use them as you go. I'm not exactly sure. Uh... With everything, with all that though. Bleed immune. Dude, these guys are so hard. Mm, we might just leave this area. I'm almost 12. It might be better to go out to that other area. Ooh, what's that legendary? That's the other one we had. Did I not get a legendary? I, I guess not. Uh, to the outpost. I can probably upgrade to uh, my Arcane Sanctum level 3 now at this point. We may change the way skills are arranged. Always valuing. That's why we're doing the alpha. We want to work with players to help steer the ship. Uh, in what way do you mean by the way skills are arranged? Like actives, passives, like this? Or how you get to the skills? Is that what you're saying more? Oh, yeah, that quest is bugged. That's right. What do you got for me, Zaya? Sure we can help. Go to Glimmering Grotto. That's out there. We still can't go there yet, really. Let's get to 12 in the, the snot skin. How you get to them? Okay. Best way to offer feedback? Well, there's always the feedback button in the alpha, if you're in the alpha. Otherwise, yeah, Discord. <laughs> oh, rip. Read it all. Do you read through all my feedback in in the when I quit the game too? Dude, the uh <laughs> when, when I was first playing, there was the bug um on day 1 there where things were spawning too much and it was absolutely insane. It feels like there still might be some sort of spawning thing out here that's a little high. But, and there was like the full spawn bug in the infested area. It was absolutely crazy. They still spawn too much? Yeah, it seemed like there was still like more, but it wasn't what it was day one. Day one would spawn multiple of the high vid egg things. There'd be like three or four of those and they would all be spawning too much. That was crazy. Yeah, sign up for the alpha everybody if you have not. Llama's back. What's the drop system like? Um, killing stuff drops items. And see, you know, you just have your different pieces, kind of like this. I'd say it's a, it's a little bit of a instant loot. There you go. Yeah, and then the loot specific, it's like your area. We should be able to level up out here. A little bit. Your inventory is full. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. One player to be totally different than they're playing Feral Druid. I never played that. <laughs> In 
PoE is owned by Tencent, right? all sorts of they own everything it'd be nice if each skill had a couple customization options like more projectiles and stuff that actually is a really interesting idea I like that a lot like if I could customize unholy bolt to have more projectiles you know it's a little bit of path of exile but you don't have to go crazy all on it but I like that idea being able to customize it add a bolt or do something else with it. You know, you kind of get different options for how you want your character to play. That's pretty cool. That's an interesting thought that I hadn't thought of. Increase the area of it. Just little simple things. You've done two years without StarCraft 2. How about me and my plan on getting back into it? I mean, I did a lot of StarCraft 2. I did a lot of StarCraft 2. There might be a time where I do a, an okay amount of StarCrafting, but... Come on, get me level 12, baby! Your master's hair and low, not high. I was high master Zerg and low masters random. Obviously my Zerg carried me a little bit more there. My Protoss was all right. My Terran was just not good. I could not play TVZ to save my life, but I also can't play TVZ to save my life in Brood War. So, you know, hey. No change there. <laughs> I just suck at TVZ. But it seems like StarCraft 2 is in a decent spot. Oh, uh, I wish there was an easier way to drop items. That's one thing that I would say. Send to pet with X. That's true. I guess I'm used to doing a lot of stuff on the fly in Diablo. Like whenever I'm here, I'm like, now I'm zoomed in and my character's stuck on it. So I can't like do inventory management and run around. Which is all day, every day. All right, level 12. Here we are. Come on, give me the 12. Llama, stay alive. Wow. There's like no more room here. Thank you. Uh, let's go out first. You play a total of two seasons of SC2? Oh man, I played like 14. So many seasons of that game. You ready for action? Oh, yeah. Dude, I still gotta just go do that quest sometime. Alright. Let's look. We're level 12. So, upgrades to our stuff. The damage on that is just amazing. That also has sick damage, but I don't think that's gonna outweigh both of those. Choker, some health on it. I like the other one. Uh, wow, okay. That's right, we got this puppy. Trash, 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 trash. Uh, I think I like that a little bit more. It's got some good fire defense on it. Do those. Do the new helm. All right. Let's 
see if I want to use this ever in the future. It's got the chance to burn, which is really nice. And the crit. Mm. We'll leave that as that. Oh, we have enough. All right, let's go to our fort. Level three. You had 12 seasons as well? Nice. Relic weapons are like an ultimate? Yeah. This is closed alpha. So we are very early. Fort time. See if we can also build our thing. Wait, which one do I need to build? Stone Mason? Yeah. All right. All right, whatever. Stupid. <laughs> one, one short. Killing me, man. Um, all right, it's time to upgrade this puppy. Upgrade, nice. All right, let's look at the new skills. Arcanum three, but I need a thousand skill points. Direct three piercing bolts that each deal for, wait, why are these locked but these unlocked? There's something I need to do. I'm not sure why that has a lock in front of it. Send out a cascading series of spikes that strike enemies for 20% weapon damage. Hmm. It's supposed to sound pretty cool. My Arcanum is at three. Is this where I have to move it? One of those things? Yep. Yep. Moving the Arcanum seems to fix a lot of stuff. <laughs> Dark skills do plus 50% damage and cost plus 30% energy. Ugh, I don't like that energy cost on it. Swift footed, 3% move speed after killing a monster. That seems nice. Also, I gotta say, on the heavy hitter, plus 8% damage for level 1, 8.5% for level 2, and 8.6% for level 3. Makes me not want to go 8.6%. Does that really mean plus 30% energy? Oh, do I get plus energy? What up, Zelda? Right now it's an alpha. There is, it is just free everything right here. Monetization is not yet released you will check on that heavy hitter okay also with like the poison level one was 25 percent poison armor and level two is 26 percent poison armor and maybe it's intended but it seems seems like it's it, it encourages 1.1 wonders for a lot of those Mm. Yeah, it keeps with the torchlight uh, art style. Doesn't seem right. Yeah. I figure that's not the biggest focus right now, you know, rather more of the making sure things don't spawn right or whenever you enter a new zone, your life total goes to half. 
things like that are more of the focus. Hey, your life total came up. All right, let's see if we can do anything without just getting obliterated in this area. We have a higher DPS bump, which is nice. It definitely seems like it helps. I mean, we basically doubled our DPS. So much. Your pack is full. So much. Oh my gosh. Your pack is full. I went dust mage. I asked chat and they voted fifty fifty. So I thought I'd I prefer a mage type character anyways. Yeah. I usually pick a mage or an archer for like the characters I enjoy playing. You need mana. The Necrolama <laughs> No! Summon an army of undead llamas. <laughs> oh man. If I could have llama undead summons, he might get me to play the necromancer. He might get me there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, give me that, please. <laughs> this is basically Torchlight 3, yes. out yet no it is just an alpha it's coming out sometime this year I don't know if there's anything else released beyond that if so max can say so you don't have enough money. but I have no further information there for you That's what we've stated. More news coming soon. All right, there you go. You don't have enough mana. There you go. Oh boy, where did all these things come from? Oh, I'm dead. Slipping away. You can't carry any more. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Easy. Monster closet. Makes sense. You need your mana. Makes sense. 
Your inventory is full. You feel refreshed. Dude, this bolt is so good. 200% weapon damage. It's a great little sniper. Oh god. Oh snap! Key in chat! Go, 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 go! I'm gonna go redeem it. Thank you, Max. Whoever gets it better post. Everybody's like, crap, I gotta get my client up. Hold on. Your pet has returned. There you are, Llama. You missed a lot of action, bud. <laughs> missed. Yeah, I really like the monster animations. They're like, really? <laughs> Too much, Nova. Congrats, final. Cutting fingernails. Well, that'll teach you to cut your fingernails. You are Shaking my head. Alright, level 13 area. Sounds good. We can take that. Yeah, so you have to download the art client. Gotta run stuff to do. Sounds good. Max Shaver, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Good luck with everything. It's very good for an alpha, very smooth. So, super impressed. Keep up the good work. Another key on the way out! He's the key master. Quit cutting your nails! Go redeem it! Already redeemed? <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> good lord. People just sitting on it, man. Honestly, it's probably a smart thing to do if you see a dev in a chat. You can't carry any <laughs> Pulse is now 190. <laughs> you are overloaded. <laughs> Had a feeling Max was about to drop another, like I say. <laughs> you just sit right where you need to be. Ex-MOBA player as well. <laughs> this game good, looks kind of slow. I mean, uh, I feel like any any of that stuff is hard to judge in a closed alpha. Mm. Seems good, trash. Uh, that does seem really nice. Wow, goblin defense on that too is solid. Ooh. Is a great blade two handed though? I don't know. Poggers! 121 DPS? Hold on, what? 77 poison damage. Oh, snap. Wow. All right, well, I guess we're gonna hold on to that staff. <laughs> Don't work too hard today. Oh, I'm sure today is very hard work. <laughs> That's some 60 PS. Ow, I'm stunned. All right, let's get out of this mess. Oh, 
What's that thing? Wood beast headdress. Ooh, legendary headdress. Sick. So long as poison damage is good in this game and not like in Diablo 2, where it's like, <laughs> then that is a sick staff. my llama at insufficient mana dots are so difficult to balance they really are Big old boy. <laughs> to level 18, yeah, but you can do literally anything to level 18. I used two war hammers with four perfect emeralds in them for a barbarian. And it was fantastic until level like 40 and then it was no longer any good. <laughs> and then my character sucked so bad. Is this on your phone? No. If there will be a phone port in the future, I have no information on that. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a big boy. You need more mana. Ow. You don't have enough mana. Get him. Poison builds are fun until you break your character, pretty much. You can't carry any more. Kill twenty Nethrim. Okay. We're at eighteen. Your inventory is full. Missed both keys. Well, maybe there'll be more in the future. Punk. Well, I'll say it seems similar to the other torch lights in terms of the graphical style. I think it fits with the cartoony nature that it has. Sound effects are good. True. I don't really think about sound effects, honestly. It is a closed alpha. Is full. Mr. Lama streams in really good quality. Hey yo. You don't think you'll bat him unless they're bad? Yeah, you're right. I'd notice that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
so many pixels and frames. It's hard to notice with Diablo 2. Hard to notice, I'm gonna be honest. Sandstone. I always run right past this. Not streaming in 480p? Yeah, not actually streaming in 480p. I think I stream in 1080p, honestly. I do. Yeah. I used to stream in 720, but since I moved <gasps> and got better internet, I, I, I was pretty sure I moved it up to 1080. Uh oh, this is level 14 area. Uh oh. Oh, it might be a little weak for down here. Okay, so far. Stick and move. Major changes. Ooh, another legendary. That's level 14, though. Wait, maybe it wasn't a legendary. No, it wasn't. I always mix that up. It looks like it for a second. Uh, I mean, it's got multiple changes, honestly. Biggest one is you don't have a level anymore, actually. You have a frontier level. Yeah, gameplay feels similar to the second one. Big goblins had to like you when you put your shoes on. That one. You have a crafting pouch. Mm. Currency, pet, potions. And inventory. Yeah, I think uh, it would be a great gauntlet. That's what I really hope for it to be, honestly, the more I play it. Oops. I am playing a Dust Mage. There's two classes right now. They're gonna announce a third class pretty soon. They said. No, this is a PC game. Whether there's any chance of mobile port or something like that or a switch or I don't, any of that I don't know but as of right now it's just this oh I thought I leveled up still nice to level up my relic still nice if 
Mama, you better stay alive, buddy. What sets it apart from D3? Well, they didn't kill Kane first off. Um, I think it does have a little bit of the D3 uh, similarity in terms of style and, and stuff like that. Right, a little bit more cartoony, fun. Probably plays better as a, as a party game sort of thing. I think it's got a little bit of that similar nature. We'll have to see what they do with Endgame and stuff like that. That's going to be a big question for it, obviously. You need mana. It also has... Uh, the combat feels different from D3. I, I prefer this combat more. Your inventory is full. Is it? Um, hmm, all right, what do I need to get over to my other dude? Trash that, we're keeping that puppy. 61. Keep that. Is my llama empty or full? All right, llama's full, send him to town. What ways do I prefer this combat? I like the combat of like them shooting like these arrows like this. Nice and slow combat where your, your actions are a little more meaningful. I think that's where it's nice. That's where I felt Diablo 3 and PoE were a little... Yeah, for me, was... Speed of combat was too much. the legendary dude all right your mana is low Dang. can't tell from the gameplay that well but what the movement piece of it Also, for the most part, I feel like I really have a lot of decision on what spells I'm casting in which areas, and I think that's really fun. I think that's really nice when they, uh, when games make you really think about what you want to cast in different areas. just got that big DPS upgrade. I'm already ready for the next one. Though this next one wouldn't be as much because I'm losing my uh, offhand for it. You don't have enough mana. All right, come on, Llama. Let's get on his face. Target's a bit lackluster. 
Maybe I should just shotgun unholy him. Yeah, that's not bad. You can't carry any more. Ah, yeah, streamer. So yeah, the more interaction there is with combat, the better. The more I have to go, hmm, is this skill better to cast in this instance? What about this one? Maybe I should use this one here. That's where all the fun of combat really comes and what I find most enjoyable in the game. Level me up. Let's get that 13. Let's get that 13, huh? there yeah when combat is slowed down it's, it allows you to set up combos a little better exactly um, that is pretty nice mr. llama oh my god he's almost dead That is pretty nice. Crafting completed. Hey. Ninety DPS on a sword. Oof. All right, we might hold on to that. Go to town again, buddy. You can't carry any more. Oops. The third class is gonna be announced soon, he said. Your pack is too heavy. It's an alpha, Zen. <laughs> So you gotta, you know, closed alpha, you gotta give it some time. There's a lot of content that is not in here. Let's see. Better? I think I do that. That gives me 34, 53, 80. Yeah, I mean, that's such a big DPS increase. That goes up. Nice. Look how cool we look. Mm, that seems better to run. Definitely want new pants. It's a sick Hydra, though. That'll go well with that sword. Insufficient mm -mm. Get him. That all is there. I wasn't showing that. Unless you mean like numbers here. I mean, they'll probably have them. This is the alpha, so. 
A lot of those features probably don't exist yet. Damage number's coming, yeah. Like, right now, I'm pretty sure it's making sure, you know, getting rid of all the, like, respawn bugs and stuff. There are definitely finished games worse than this. <laughs> Thousand percent guaranteed. That's, like, the standard nowadays. Release a game and about this quality or worse. And then everything's just a hot fix. <laughs> Did I use both classes? I've only used this class so far. I have not tried out the other one. Yeah, there's still a lot of make and break for this, honestly. You know, they've got a lot of work still to do. A lot of touches to put on, a lot of content to add. But from a, from a play standpoint, like, it all works. Uh, mostly works. Um, it's it's got you know a lot of good interaction. The combat seems very solid. Um, you know, but like a lot of stuff: story, quest, bosses, interaction between the fort and your characters. Um, you know, a lot of that stuff is, is what's going to make or break the game, right? Like, this now is like, all right, you know, yeah, you've made a, a good functioning game that you can play through and level and, you know, do all your little things. But late game content, all of the stuff that they add there is what makes a game. I think that legendary is in the currency tab. Oh, was it a comet fragment or something that I dropped? That's nice. Twenty six to physical damage on my pants. Yes, please. Ooh. That's really nice health though, but low level. Goblin. Wow, look at that. That's a sick armor. Keep those. Okay. Go to ten. Your pack is too heavy. Are you gonna speedrun the game on your first ever playthrough? For sure. Well, this seems a little glitched. <laughs> How am I finding it? I'm enjoying it. Only had four or five and that number has gone up. Oh, okay, that must have been what it was then. Your mana is low. I don't think I can hit anything else into here, can I? Nope. All right, we'll leave that area alone. Netherlings skip. Mm -hmm. 
Am I in the right area? Go to the deep hollows. I'm in the subterranean trench. Oh, there's, okay. Good. I was gonna say. When we see the alpha speed run. I mean, first we'll have to get past some of the like bugs and stuff. Also, I'll have to figure out what even is the speedrun supposed to be. Like, where do you go with it? What's the goal? It is an ARPG. I wouldn't call it a Diablo copy at all. Kill the Lich King or something. You can't carry something like that. I reckon I could get a 769. I hope so. If I didn't enjoy Torchlight 1 and 2, is there any reason to give this one a try? Mm, probably not. I'd say if you didn't like Torchlight 1 and 2, this is probably pretty similar to Torchlight 1 and 2. So. Oh! What? His health was... Wait, he's just bleeding? No. Dude, I do a ton of damage to him. Look at how, how much damage I do. Oh, what's happening? Do I have to destroy the pylon? All right, we got another boss that's actually got some unique mechanics. Bristleback. <laughs> I like it. Whoa. Ow, ow. Purify! No! Anything but purify. Ow. Anything but that. Not a purify fight. On Saturday. I'll be checking it out. Ow. Jerk. Loot. I'm gonna do the. I want to do POE on Saturday. 
Oh yeah, I got your Discord message. One dollar every six minutes, ten per hour. Double for subs. Are those zerglings? They kind of look like the zerglings from the cartoon animator. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to post in it. I read it at like 3 a.m. Carbot, thank you. Finally, Ragged. <laughs> no sucks. Alright, now we gotta go talk to Zaya. Dude, these maps are so long. These maps are so long, it's crazy. I need to do that quest today. Let's go do that, just so we can be done with it. Tell me if you find any You have a new quest. Thank you. Alright, so that is a better caller. Better tag. Okay. All right, so let's see. Don't need that. That sixty seven. Eighty six. Some big health on the pants. But the other pants have physical damage. I kind of like that better. That's really nice armor. Let's keep that. That's nice. And that's nice. Probably time to sell this puppy. Um, choker can go. That can go. I actually like those gloves. Ooh, that does have nice health on it. Let's double that up. It's a lot of health. Yeah, I think the health is better actually. I think that's the one I took off. Um Go to the portal. Book three is on hold. What book is that? Forge of Darkness and Fall of Light. Oh, I have not read those. Let's see what we got. Level 13 stuff. Honestly, I could kill 14 stuff as, as well. Oops. 
feel good in either area. I have not played Darkest Dungeon. Look at that damage. Staff is a big old boy. Tell you what. That's a big boy staff we got right here. I like it. Solid DPS. I need a lot of gold for that Arcanum 4. I crit, it's just so massive. Mm, uh, yeah, this way. <clears throat> Use the actual weapon skill for animation. Like casting with a staff or something. Is this the Diablo 3 we never got? No, I don't think it plays like a Diablo 2 if, you, if you're trying to go for that sort of play on it, right? This is Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 style. I don't, I don't think it plays like that. It plays in its own different way. Why would the skill damage scale off your weapon if you don't actually use it and bothers you? Maybe it will in the future. It is alpha, so there's probably some animation stuff not included yet for all that. PoE is the D3 we should have gotten. I'd say PoE is a little more closely tied to it. Why does that portal look so cool now? That portal looks awesome, but I don't remember it looking like that before. Wasn't it just like a little circle? How many hours am I in? Uh, what are we at now? 10? Insufficient mana. No, no, no. Winning for Walken, Wilson, Wilchen. Your pack is too heavy. I haven't done anything with that yet. Your mana is low. Seems like some people were excited for it, though. Ooh, this is right. This is the mineral forest phase portal. Well, it said it was my portal. Uh oh. We don't have enough mana. Said it was my portal to the goblin forest.
Okay, yeah, that you're right. That was a, a comet fragment. Is that used for upgrading my gear? Is that what that's for? You just got Eth Titans, nice. Foggers. Grass bud. It's always a good day when you can get some Eth Titans. What percent are they? ED and Life Leech. One eighty two nine, sick, dude. Nice draw. Not enough money overloaded. That's a GG. Why is everything on fire? <laughs> Not enough mana. You are overburdened. Mama, I'm coming for you, buddy. Dude, he's just getting ganged up on over there. Poor buddy. Poor guy. Nice. I can actually do some melee damage with this with this staff. It's actually nice. Felt like my other weapons were all complete garbage. Guess you gotta make a Javas on now? Yep. Melee sword! Yep. Ah, there's the waypoint. Perfect. Alright. Perfect, perfect. Beautiful. Zombie, zombie. All right. I need a few good. Sounds good. Talk to General Gray. We did. This time, there's. An All right. Has to cycle through. Go to Job 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 Town. Let's see what we're selling. Ooh, that's good physical damage. Oh, that's got the chance to blind though. Oh well. I think we're keeping all these things. Cool. All right, it's in here somewhere. We got this. <laughs> oh, load screen. Come on, baby. It's going to be weird going back to... Uh, yeah, he is. Going back to the other like infested area and being level 8 again. Hey, make doom.
Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You play the other games in the series? Oh my god, the load! Rip. Ah! We did it! We got out! Insufficient mana. Seriously, I can just whack a mole right now. It's so fabulous. Yeah. We lose the ability to use the current equipment when you go back to the other area. So I think it it takes the, the equipment that you have and it like downgrades it essentially. You don't have I believe mana. that's how it works. Yeah, it like scales it to the other area. Something like that. Honestly, that'd be something to play around with more and look at. You don't have enough mana. Your pack is too heavy. Kill the champion goblin warrior, kill the champion goblin rider, the champion goblin brute. Okay. I have to find and kill all the champion goblins, I guess. Oops. That was it. Uh, maps unexplored though. Okay. Does it upscale? I don't know. So loot focus, RPG, but now at the city where you see other players and random collects mobs. Yeah, a little bit like that. Put it simply. You need more mana. I love where the monsters spawn from. It's so fun when they like jump out of the little holes and stuff. It's a cute little effect. You know, like I'm finding the same enemies at level 130. Yeah, it's one thing for sure. I think there could be more variety along the way with that stuff. Seems like they do change somewhat, but I mean, Diablo 2 also has that, right? It kind of goes up and then it borrows monsters again. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they do with that. Yes, it is for loot. Stay alive, Llama. You can't carry any more. Got this, bud. Yeah, Torchlight Frontiers is what it's called. Mass murder. I wonder if the champions are spread out or if they're all at the end. 
Almost feels like they'd all be at the end. That's a lot of gold. We don't have enough mana. I don't mind that experience. Like a 3D Yoshi's Island. Huh. I don't know if I quite feel that, but all right. Got four for a cold facet. Any idea of what you should put jewels in? I mean, if you just need more damage and you kind of put in whatever you want, right? So you can put it in a weapon, like a fathom or something. A lot of people will put it in there. You can put it in an armor if you're using like Tal's armor. Just kind of, as you, uh, as you go along. So it just kind of depends. Combat does seem to pick up the pace. Yeah, at the start, the combat was really slow. Like too slow. I would definitely say it's improved in the the past couple days there. I would agree to that. Just kind of took to getting some stuff with DPS, honestly. You can't carry I feel like that was the big thing. Oh, sweet. All right, we leveled up. Game it makes me think of EverQuest Frontiers. <laughs> All right, so that's nice. Not nice enough. So here's the question. Does this allow for a shield? It does. All right, so that's a higher DPS. That's now 90. So. Better boots. That's got physical damage on it. So does that. Uh, I think that's there. 70 DPS. 121. I still probably want to keep that, but let's trade that out. 70 DPS. 14.4% more damage for Unholy Bolt. Yeah, that's actually amazing. Pack is too heavy. Cool, cool, cool. Shrine of haste. Your pack is too heavy. Nice. You Whee. can't carry any more. Honestly, if I could move like this at all the time, or all of the time, that would be amazing. Maybe not quite that fast, but... Uh-oh. We hit a dead end. Okay, we gotta go the other way. Whee! Gotta go back. How does the multi-area leveling work? So every map, world, frontier, whatever you want to call it, has its own leveling. So like, I've only been doing goblins today. So I'm in the goblin world, essentially. Which means my, uh, all my leveling and stuff is gonna be for this area. 
But if I move over to the other world, then my damage is going to drop and my everything will drop as I'll be a level eight in that area. So the interesting thing is definitely going to be Your pet is back. Hey pet. Um like gold and drops and everything like that, right? Because if I'm in a higher level area, then I'm gonna be able to find more gold and better drops. But if I maybe need to get specific drops for different areas, like I can only find the poison gear stuff that I need in the poison area, right? So. Now we got the ch two more champions, the Goblin Brute and the Goblin Blaster. Still got a one gold per monster. Yeah, but I'm there's I'm able to kill a lot more monsters out here, I guess is what I'm getting at. I feel like I get a lot more gold and skills out here just because I'm able to kill more. Yeah, so like a lot of loot and stuff is like zone specific, it seems. You are to a degree. I don't know if it's 100% zone specific. Or if it's more weighted in a specific area. Yeah, this is the boss. bad so far it's fun it's got uh you know a lot of room for stuff so there's still a lot to be said and done overall to uh you know make it have that long-term fun right But for an alpha, the game works fantastic. Why'd I pick mage over robot? Chat voted 50-50, and in general, I end up being more of a mage person. Robot was more barbarian, I figured, and barbarians kind of suck, right? Not enough mana. Got him. Bear sire. Thank you. Mwah. Big kiss for you. Barbarians really, really, really sick. Yep. They do. All right. Find the goblin chieftain's hideout. Okay. Go get it. <laughs> nice. You are overloaded. All right, there it is. There you go. That's fun. I'm enjoying it. First day one was a little rough. It felt really slow day one. Um, you don't have enough mana. The pace has picked up since then, for sure. 
And that's helped a lot. Llama, stay alive. He's actually done a good job lately of staying alive. I'm proud of him. So once once we got a little more proper DPS, it really helped a lot with the game. Infinite spawn was also, uh, yeah, that bug was a little frustrating. <laughs> Ooh, level 15 area. Here we go. Deadly arena. All right, let's see what this boss is. Shoot some fireballs. All right, I see you. I see you. Oof, ouch. You don't have enough mana. Oof. Got him. You are overburdened. Let's go. Where's my treasure chest at? Nom 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 nom. Uh, ooh, ninety-two physical damage, fifty percent bonus to crit. Wow. Okay. All right, that could be good. That's the point, Llama. Your pack is full. Uh, okay. That's at least worth half a happiness gem. True that. Okay, so we need to keep going left here. Um, all right, seems good. Physical defense, whatever. Chance to block. That is pretty nice with the ice damage on it. That is pretty nice with the ice. Ooh, 88. Ice. Trash, 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 trash. It's interesting. All right, what's that sword? 51, all right, so. Oh man, it's a two-handed. <laughs> we lose eight damage there. Chance of bleed. We get a big crit bonus though. That is slow though. Wait, what am I using? Uh Okay. There's good DPS. DPS is better there. Your mana is low. Your pack is full. Yeah! 
Get him. How are the slots going, everybody? They pan out today? Stunned. Uh oh. Lead immune. Ah, jerks. Rigged. Always rigged. Always rigged. All right, we should be entering the level 14 area now, I think. Oh wait, did we just miss the waypoint? We did. I think I already have this waypoint, but it's okay. We'll go back to the outpost. This torchlight's frontiers. Ah. Ah. This time, there's no hope. You have a new quest. Rigged. You have finished a quest. I like the physical damage boost I get from it there. Twenty eight point four percent chance for bleed. I'll hold that weapon for now. We'll hold that. Let's go to Zaya. This is such a strange see where she sends us upper mining facility. Come on, baby. Feels bad, Mellow. How many dollars do I got? I'm rank number three? Dude, somebody gifted me a lot of dollars because I was definitely like rank 11. Who was it? That was definitely rank 11. I did not hack in any extra dollars. Why would I make myself rank 3? If I were to hack in dollars, I'd give myself 5 billion. I haven't won a gamble in so long. I gamble like 250 every single stream. I never win. 500s, all sorts of stuff. Slots are rigged, I tell you. It's coming to phones? I, not that I know of. Isn't second place what I usually go for? Mods, can we get... Where's the bands in here? We got really inappropriate. Insufficient mana. Your pack is full. We don't, we don't need this trash in here. Second, geez. I'll show, I'll show you second place.
quiero. Alright, let's go down to the upper mining facility. Gotta gamble that off. What? Pog! 30k win! See, gifting does work. Oh, jeez. What schemes are you guys coming up with there? I tell you what. Like earth, ember, samples. Sounds good to me. Dude, our damage right now is so pot. Love it. Love it. Go, baby, go. Get all that gold. We definitely need a lot of gold. Doc Gambit is number one, and Ms. Kylie is right behind at number two. Gosh dang. Llamas out of five? Mm, too early to to rate it out of llamas, really. I mean, right now it, it's it's in the like three out of five llamas, but it doesn't have a lot of the stuff fleshed out, you know. I like the combat. I uh, I honestly don't mind the you know cartoony nature of it. I think it looks fun. Uh, I think it's fitting with the first style brand more, right? But it, it's, you know, it's missing a lot of features right now, and so that's going to be the make or break stuff, honestly, is how that goes. Just keep coming back and gambling, LeBron. That's all I can say. I'll get you a nice Stay in the hotel room. Insufficient Lam Motel. Hey, to fail. I played a little bit of Torchlight 2. Not anywhere to like level 100s though. I'd say if you like Torchlight 1 and 2, you would probably enjoy t this. <laughs> you got the window, that's it. That is it. Ouch, fire. Ooh, a rare sword. Lethal sword. Wonder what that is. I still don't have any of the mining samples in here. I don't know if I've missed them. Where am I supposed to get them? Got the key by random or as a streamer? As a streamer. They have the content creator submission link stuff for it. You need more 
Crap. I missed all of the crafting supplies I'm supposed to have. I supposed to be where was I supposed to get it yeah, I'm enjoying it what do you do what you do if the girl you're talking to is counting your snap points what does that mean counting your snap points Is that a sexual term that I don't know about? Oh, on Snapchat. Hmm, seems too shallow for me. She's just doing it for fun? All right, sure, whatever. If she ever uses that as some sort of basis for why you're whatever, run. Or just say to her, ew, Snapchat? Nobody uses Snapchat anymore. Make her feel outdated. Is it up here? No. Where did I miss these things? Uh... Join my army of the Do I need dead. to go in the circle? MR Llama Beam, MR Llama Beam to MR Yamala, oh, MR Yamama Frontier Llama Luck. Mwah. Wow, that was a lot said for a little short text. <laughs> Thank you so much, Scriblin! Your pack is too heavy. Check the green symbols. Yeah, it looks like that's it. We just got one of them. Oops. Second one, sandstone. Crap. I messed up. Anymore. Man. It's like Den of Evil 2.0. Gotta go back and find what I missed. I should have been mining. It's a mining facility. Why didn't I think about it? There it is. There it is. Recently I've done watching some video too. I uh, start playing again. Game crashes. Um, are you running in admin mode and compatibility mode? Always the first thing to check. That usually solves most issues. You are overloaded. How do I like the level design? It's not bad. I think there could be a little more... Um, Less like straight pathy, I guess. Like a lot of the maps are very straight. And uh So I'd say a little less that and then you can't um anymore. they're a little repetitive throughout the same zone. Right. Pack is too heavy. So the same tile pieces are kind of used in, all, in a, a few of the zones a little too too much. 
Are levels fully laid out ahead of time? No RNT? I'm not sure yet. And this honestly might just be because, well, it's an alpha and this is, you know, just what they're using right now, so. With a younger target audience, isn't it possible they chose this linear pathing on purpose? Yeah, I mean, I feel like you could find a slight balance to it. Explain a little bit about the leveling of different zones. Each world, or within the world, you have goblin forest and infested forest. Each of these you level up respectively in, right? So I'm level 14, almost 15 here. Oops, and that one. And level 8 over here. So when I go over to here, I'm back to level 8, and then I'm leveling up in this area. So you level per frontier. Um, your gear over here scales down to the gear over here. So I kind of like change it up a little bit in that way. So it's interesting. Yeah, potentially snazzy. Maps are a little basic but functional. Something like that. I mean, I think the... How do I get that? I want that. I think the really like cool part is like, I really like this level like look. The like bridge of, I mean, this is such a cool looking area, but it's just the actual playable level piece is very much like, I'm never running down through these areas quite like this, you know? It is the alpha version, yes. So that's the the piece that I'm talking about when I when I mention that stuff. All right, that's that. Mm -hmm. This is nice as well. Dang, not a single upgrade in gear there. From all that level 15 gear. And we did have pretty good gear. You could have argued those pants might have been upgraded. So yeah, I would say that's the... I like that fire dancer. Look, that was a cool spell. I would say that's the piece that, you know, like this even right here is kind of a little cool section. But you're not like climbing ladders or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it's a little simplistic. Ouch. <laughs> Dang, that knockback is brutal. What ARPG can you climb ladders though? Oh, well, uh, right. I'm not saying that this one needs to be where you can climb ladders or something. I'm just saying it could be like a cool. Uh, I, I relate this more to Gauntlet Legends when I'm thinking about it. So I think about like that sort of stuff. Because you're spending a lot of time on these maps, right? You're not spending a lot of time in town. You're not spending a lot of time in maggot lairs or anything. You're spending a lot of time on these maps. And so, for me, when you're spending a lot of time on the maps like this, you know, you, you want to have it feel a little more something. How are you doing today? I'm good, Turtle. How are you? you don't have enough mana. Hey, Llama's back. Um, hi, Lim, by camera view, yeah. Do you like the system of different zones? Uh, I haven't played it enough to have a full opinion on it, really. Nah, uh, because I've been mostly over in this zone. I'm, I'm level 8 in the other zone, but I haven't done enough like back and forth between it. I think that could be interesting interaction. It depends how they set it up, though. 
Yeah, I wish there was more to bounce with older group mine, so it's a team for more up front of the tire. Yeah. I mean, we'll just have to Fresh see. Meat. 80 on for 15 months. Mwah. Big kiss for you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that support. Welcome back to Llamas of the Round. So, I, like I say, I think there's a lot of room here for them to do more. Obviously, it's alpha. There's a lot of content that's not in the game yet. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I look forward to more of that content coming to hopefully add some more complexity for a little bit of this. Even if it's not always complexity, but just, you know, uh, making the maps a little bit more something. Very close, though. Do you get different skills in different zones? You do not. But you can swap what your active skills are for each zone if you'd like. So, like, I have one passive that's poison armor. I don't wear that out here. I wear that when I go to the poison area. Things like that. I'm part of the that I've seen the pavement after the base creation and building timers to the wood and stuff. Yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully that's something, you know, give feedback on it, right? I'll definitely mention that in my feedback. I'm all about like, I love cosmetic stuff, so you know what? If you want to do like awesome, cool cosmetic fort stuff, or different pets, Not enough mana. like all that stuff, make that as pay to win as you'd like. I just, yeah, for me, the crafting timer stuff on it is a little much. Yeah, I like I like the aesthetic model. But, you know, they haven't announced anything yet. They're still obviously doing a lot with it, so that'll be the thing to also watch for. It's decent right now. Big P gonna play tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but Saturday I think I'm gonna play. Gold, 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 gold. Tomorrow we shall. Nom 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 nom. Alright. There's our end game, dude. Ooh, this is a 16 area. I didn't even realize. Any idea on build yet? No, I'm gonna have to research builds tomorrow night that I would wanna play. I might do like a ranger. I haven't done a ranger build before. And I really like playing as archers, so. I think it could be fun. Sass tabs are a huge quality of life. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's that's their pay to win feature. Honestly, like some of them, you know, some of the stash tabs, sure. The currency tab and the maps tab, I feel like, should come with the game. So those are ones that, you know, I go, eh. But I mean, it's also a free-to-play game, so you know, it's kind of, in my opinion, that's like buying the game right there, right? How 
I feel like that's, we're, we're very spoiled. Think of how much fun we get out of these games compared to how much money we end up paying for them. Even if like I were to spend, you know, like if I go to a movie and see a mediocre movie, that ticket's like 13 bucks, plus I'm buying Kylie's ticket, plus I'm buying some popcorn, cause she has to have her popcorn. Like we are very spoiled with video games. Ah. But, uh, you know, so for me, like, if I'm playing a few hours of PoE or something, putting a tiny bit into it doesn't seem bad at all. Script with the gifted sub to MPL. Mwah. Thank you so much. You can hear how much it hurts to spend that much on popcorn, for sure. But you know she likes her popcorn, what am I supposed to do? Sometimes she treats me too, don't worry, I'm just playing around with it. Ow! I don't know about that hitting me. Right. So like now, rather than having to pay 60 bucks at the start, we can evaluate if a game is good first and then spend a little money along the way, but even spending like $60 on a game that I spend a few hours playing is just the same value as most entertainment. What does she treat me to? Oh, you know, packets of crackers, all sorts of good stuff. She treats me to watch some Hulu at home, you know, all the good stuff. You are wounded. Get some Orville popcorn. Mmm, get that kettle corn. Yep. Dead. Nom 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 nom. Is there no treasure chest? Aw oh, man. I had all that work and no treasure chest? It's booty. So when I when I consider entertainment value, video games is probably one of the best bangs per buck that you can get. And now they've moved towards free, so you can get even more value. And then whenever there's any monetization, it's like, ugh. <laughs> Sounds crazy. We're really spoiled. Treasure chest added in beta. Rip. We're really spoiled. Boom. But ten dollars for D one seems a little steep, yeah. Alright. Go to the outpost. Do I have a waypoint here? Let's just go to the lakeside clearing first. Let's just get there. We're we're too high leveled for this area. Any games you're looking forward to playing? Don't know if you're cyberpunk. I, I mean, honestly, I play so much Diablo 2 that like Diablo 2 is what I play. Uh, so, you know, it's a little sad maybe. But like, 
I haven't really played a lot of new games or anything. I've been playing um, Breath of the Wild, and I've actually been having a ton of fun with that. So that's been a great game. But, now, yeah, honestly, other than that, Diablo 2. A little bit of PoE. Diablo 4, waiting for that one. Did I ever finish off Assassin's Creed? I did not. That was a fun game. That game was really well done. I'm sure most people here would watch me play anything. I don't think you've met my community. Not gonna stop me from playing different things sometimes, but that's okay, you know. I I probably want to start speedrunning some other games in the future. I think that's something that I I will add in is learning to speedrun some other games. Nope. <laughs> It's totally fine, though. I have nothing against anybody who watches me play Diablo 2. I appreciate everybody who is ever here for any reason. Any games I have in mind for speedrunning? D1 says hi. Um, not Diablo 1. Quality of life is too poor there for me. I would say Zelda games are, are uh, big ones. I would want to do Breath of the Wild or, I mean, honestly, any Zelda game that I've played. They all seem really fun. I will take every so. So, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. All right, let's see if there's any upgrades here. No, no. No, no, ooh. The cooldown for Dark Spears is nice. Almost, but not quite. Okay, so. Ooh, 158 DPS. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna play. All right, let's hold on to that. It's also better. That's trash. Trash that. <sighs> Fresh uh, meat. Hola, am I amigo? Hola. How are you doing, Crucial? Thank you so much. Mwah. Um, the attack speed on that seems kind of nice. Let's sell those. Let's go talk to people. And then you. Quest has begun. Perfect. Go to Lake Gob Dunk. Is that the next one? Yeah. All right, that seems like a good place to call it. It is seven o'clock, and I need some dinner. I need some dinner. So thank you everybody for watching. Mwah. Big kisses to you. Is there any any crafting in the alpha? Oh yeah, we can actually go to my fort really fast. Let's go to my fort and see if I can... I can now make my third thing and then I can maybe try some craft stuff.
So let's see, I can now build my stone mason. Go to our crafting house. Okay, so here is where I would craft this weapon up. Okay. So. I guess I just set that stuff to craft. Go to our cannon. Ooh, can't go level four yet. We need more gold. But we do have enough for something. Unlimited power. Dark skills do 50% damage and cost 30% energy. Cost 30% energy. Is that 30% less? 30% of the energy that they were before? Stacks up to five times. That does sound nice for faster movement. 30% more energy? don't know. I can also get one of these new ones. Three piercing bolts of light that deal 40% weapon damage. Cascading series of spikes. Is it supposed to be different sick winners? Or is it just the same, same thing? You know, I'm gonna try this unlimited power. You have gained in skill. You've learned a new skill. Sixteen percent damage, seventeen percent damage. Uh let's get rid of body block. It says unlimited power, so I'm guessing it's like unlimited, you know? I don't know. Let me. I'm gonna go and try and cast a bunch of dark spells and let's see what happens. Are you able to respec? I don't think so as of right now. Chanky road in that fort. Watch it. Let's try it. <laughs> it's just really quick, Rannick. Really quick, that's all. What the heck? All right, so you don't have enough mana. That was way too much mana. Uh, 
Man. Ugh. I just wasted all my skill points on that skill. I mean, plus 17% damage is nice, but... 30% energy is just too much. Alright. Anyways, I'm gonna head out. Thank you everybody for watching. Peace out. Have a good one. I'll catch you guys later. And uh, my podcast will be tonight. I'm gonna go eat and then we'll come back and we'll do our podcast. Exclamation mark podcast. I'll catch you guys then. Peace.